So Lyle, I'm, the guy let me come in the door and this is the stuff at the vegetable market. There's uh, watermelons and stuff. And each of these are our little booze here, okay? Now this is the wholesale market. That's potatoes, beets, onions they have there, uh, honeydew melons. There's apples that I'm looking at, lemons, which are extremely expensive, and tomatoes way in the back. That's one place. Hola. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> Point out what he's got there. Uh, there's some grapes in the front, some lemons, cucumbers, pears, onions in the sacks. There's some tomatoes which are really unripe. They look bad. Oranges, you know, it's really early for oranges. Oranges is the winter crop. Celery. There's some celery thrown on the ground. Look at those yellow and green tomatoes. That's just pitiful. The lemons are starting to come in. Those are beans, peppers. Oh, there's some green beans. You want to look at those green beans? Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't have any cash. Yeah, we have no cash, so we can't buy today. Tell everything here is cash. Yeah, everything's cash, and you know, for the most part, you have to buy the whole sack of potatoes or whatever. Sometimes they sell it to you by the kilo, but usually not. Too. They got strawberries. Where in the world are they getting strawberries from? There's huge sacks of peas. Cabbage. There's some nice cauliflower mountains of beets. See, these are the big trucks that they come down from the north with. Because you know, south of Santiago, the first few regions south of there are the big fruit and vegetable growing regions. So the nice thing about it is that everything is from Chile for the most part. You find very little imported produce. And it's all, you know, within 12 hours away. These places sell like raisins you can buy here, nuts, um, uh, sesame seeds sometimes. They'll have like a little side to where they're at that will have that sort of thing too. But this is like the, the wholesale market. This is the guy that knows this all the time. It's not there. Not there. It's called Adi Fruit. Yep. Five years ago, Lori, the boys, and I pulled up our roots and moved to Chile. Let me tell you, it was really scary. We were looking for an adventure, an adventure of a lifetime. And what we really wanted was just a peaceful place to call home with kind and gentle neighbors. We wanted to enjoy the life that God gave us, free, simple, safe, and more beautiful than you can ever imagine.